In this example, we want to analyze some sports results. So firstly, notice we need to create the pivot table. There's two rows here with headings. The first row is what we actually receive, but these are a little bit ambiguous. So you'll see we've created another row with slightly more useful titles. We don't highlight both, we only do that one there. So insert, we set up a pivot table. So okay, and we've got it. Now what we're asked to do is to get the average numbers of goals scored, full-time hope team goals, and full-time away team goals. So you'll see it's over here. So there's full-time hope t home team goals, full-time away team goals. We also want to know the shots taken by the home team and the away team. Now what we are asked for is the average. So there's a couple of things we can do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and we can change the average over here. What we can do as well is if we right click for the next one, you'll see we've got summarize value bar. If we say average, it achieves the same thing. So I'm going to say summarize value bar, average, average. Now this doesn't look that great going across. The moment you have more than one item in value, this appears and I can click and drag it and put it here. So it looks a little bit better. But what we wanted to know as well is we want to split it by division. So over here we have the division. I'm going to put it in here. So now we can see these statistics for the various divisions. Just to make it a bit neater, I'm going to format this number so that it's two decimals. You'll see unfortunately we have to go through the same process because these are different fields. And there you have the current solution. The next one, what we're going to do, just on the same page, I'm going to just highlight this pivot table, copy. And if I paste it here, you'll see it creates a pivot table. And you'll see it's fully a fully functional pivot table. So what it looks like is we need to just clear it out because there's a different requirement. So I'm just going to say clear all. So what we've got is a clear pivot table. So the first thing we want to work out is which of the referees has issued the highest average yellow in records. So we know we need the referee names. So let's just find the match referee. I'm going to put it into the rows. So we have all the referees. What we only want to do is look at the Premier League. So I'm going to put the division. I'm going to put it in front of the referee. We're just going to filter so we're only looking at the Premier League. Now if you look at the available data, you'll see we've got home team yellow cards, away team yellow cards. But we want to see the average yellow cards. So at the moment we cannot total this, so we're going to have to create some calculated fields. So the way we do that is when we're in our pivot table, go to Analyze, You'll see there's an item called Field Items and Settings. We're going to say Calculated Field. I'm going to call it Yellow Cards. And the formula that tells us Yellow Cards is quite simply Home Team Yellow Cards plus Away Team Yellow Cards. When I say OK, you'll see it automatically puts it in. We need to do the same thing for the red cards. So it's a calculated field. Let's call it red cards. And the formula is going to be home team red cards plus away team red cards. When I say OK, you'll see it includes it there. Now we actually want them to be side by side. 
So because we've got two values here, this appears in our rows. I'm going to click and drag it into the column. So we can now see it like that. And what we'd also like to do is sort it in ascending or descending order based on the yellow or red cards. So we're going to space it on the red cards. So what I can do is I can either click here and sort. But what I'm going to do is I don't like the look of this. So I'm going to go and change it to be in tabular form. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say please sort this in descending order, not by match referee, but some of red cards. When I say OK, it looks like that. What we then want to do is change this so that what we can do is add color to it. So I'm going to add up, add some um, data labels. So for conditional formatting, let's go to the new rule. We're going to say do all of that. But we want to now have data bars. And the way the data bars are going to be set up just to match what they're representing, we're going to say go yellow. So when I say OK, you can now see who's giving what yellow cards. For red, I go conditional formatting, new rule. Also going to use data bars, but this time we're going to use red. And when we say OK, you'll see that appears.